So here's a row of tomatoes in uh, my community garden. I do feel like there may have been some herbicidal drift from a neighbor who sprayed Roundup. And, uh, but I'm also seeing other just unusual growth in a few places and I'm hoping they'll grow through it, but I just want to show a few things going on. Uh, here is, um, you'll notice it's, it's much smaller than the plants next to it. This is Brandywine Joyce. Um, this plant has had some modeling of the leaves, just sort of dwarfed growth, and you know, just not not great looking in a lot of ways. So we'll see how that does. We've got some fruit set in there, but we're not uh, not sure how that'll go. And down here, there's sort of a cluster of oddness, I'll call it. Um, Right here, really dense growth on this Bulgarian Triumph, kind of, you know, from these nice looking leaves down here, suddenly very twisty, it kind of twisted up on itself, really dense, multifaciated stem, kind of completely curled on itself. And again, this is some of the signs that, and lighter growth of a possible herbicidal damage. And they're all kind of in a row, which makes me wonder, you know, what, what was happening here. Let me get on the other side, this would be easier. Uh, this is pale, perfect purple. Got very vigorous growth. Got a, some nice fruit set in there. But here, as with some others, kind of very curvy growth and some sprouting along this main ridge of the leaf um, right next to it um, again very kind of contorted top growth twisted leaf lighter growth very dense and on this one uh, this is Eva St. Wendell you know we've got some good fruit set but um, here's one leaf where you can see it is literally sprouting out new sprouts all along the ridge of this leaf. Just, it doesn't look unhealthy per se, I mean, except for weird. It's very curly, but it, the green looks okay and it's growing. So we're just not sure what's happening here. And then the next one over, Daifuku. Um, it's another original one from uh, Bunny Hop Seeds. I had uh, basically no terminal growth tip um, up here at the top. The only growth I have is the sucker from this leaf. It just, it just terminated growth. Uh, I don't believe it's a determinant. I'm not sure what's happening. But um, anyway, just all kind of in a row here showing different things different varieties again maybe herbicidal drift which you know different ones reacting different ways uh, um, so it's a the plot where they sprayed about 40 feet away but the mister is set on very low particles uh, it can travel quite away even on a still day and tomatoes do not like the slightest whiff around them so thinking that might be what it is not really sure what's happening um, but anyway it's our oddball tomato growth. And uh, as you can see down the line, they're all looking pretty good. These are all grafted tomatoes, all heirloom types pretty much, and open pollinated, but grafted to a vigorous hybrid rootstock. Um, growing well, generally, but hopefully uh, this weirdness here uh, is something they'll kind of grow through. That's it, it's just a quick update, and uh, we'll see how they do.